Now let's talk about router boot up process. Cisco IOS. Okay, as shown in the figure, a router loads the following two files into RAM when it is booted. The first file is an IOS image file. The IOS facilitates the basic operation of the device hardware components. Also, the IOS, which is the operating system image file, is stored in flash memory. The other file is a startup configuration file. The startup configuration file contains commands that are used to initially configure a router and create the running configuration file that is stored in the RAM. The running config or the startup configuration file is stored in NVRAM. All the configuration changes are stored in the running configuration file and are implemented immediately by the IOS. The running configuration file is basically modified when the network administrator performs device configuration. When changes are made to the running config file, it should be saved to NVRAM as the startup configuration file in case the router is restarted or loses power. Okay, so this is uh, the steps taken by a router uh, boot up process. There are three major phases to the boot up process. The first one is basically the router perform the post, which is a power on self test of each component in the router. And that post method or process is done by every computer. So the router also does it and load the bootstrap program. And then in the next phase, the router locate and load the Cisco IUS software. And in the third phase, the router locate and load the startup configuration file or enter into the setup mode. So we looked into the Cisco IUS operating system and we basically also uh, discussed the boot up process of a particular uh, Cisco uh, IUS uh, router.